Hey, good morning. Robert Medlin here. You know, I'd like to just talk about a little bit about uh, how to resist the oppression of the devil. You know, in, uh, in James chapter 4, James says, resist the devil and he'll flee. So, and he's talking there that, that we're, where we get into this uh, prideful thing and we get into uh, all kinds of bad attitudes and stuff, you know, and, and, uh, and James tells us to, to, to humble ourselves and to get humble, get away from pride. If you get into pride, humble ourselves. And oppression of the devil comes in different forms. Pride is one of them. And so James says, resist that pride, resist that, that stuff, and humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he'll lift you up. Resist the devil, and he'll flee. Then Peter says, says that, uh, that the devil goes around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And he says, resist him. <laughs> resist the devil, standing firm in the faith. And the reason is everybody in the world is going through that. It doesn't mean that we're supposed to just sit back and just say, oh, you know, uh, the devil's going to beat me up today. No, the, we're told this. Uh, you know, Peter's, Peter tells this and James tells this. So we resist the devil. Resist the devil and he will flee. That's a promise that if you will take your stand and resist the devil, he will flee. Now, the devil may, may try to bring symptoms on you. He may try to bring negative thoughts of, of oppression or of fear. Or he might try to bring... Uh, judgmentalism he might bring doubt he, uh, he might cause any kind of things he might might cause uh, sickness or pain or or whatever the devil might bring any of those try to bring any of those any of those types of things that are his that are him Jesus said I came to kill the that you the that you would have life and have it more abundantly the thief comes to steal and kill and destroy so anything that's that's to steal kill and destroy is of the devil so so Peter and James both tell us Resist the devil, whether it's whether you're getting into pride or judgmentalism or anger or, or whatever. Resist the devil and he'll flee. If you're getting, if you're feeling symptoms of oppression or depression or, or fear or sickness or pain or whatever, resist the devil and he'll flee. Resist the devil. It might, you may have to resist for a little while, uh, and but but the promise. This is a promise from God. This is James. Couldn't be even couldn't be more affirmative about this. He said, "Resist the devil." And Peter says, Re "Resist the devil, and he'll flee. Resist the devil, and he'll flee." And so, uh, that's our job is to resist him, and to resist him as long as it takes. To recognize that any of these things that are that are attacking you, whether it's you know it's something going on in your mind or emotions where you are feeling oppressed and hurt hurt and wounded or whether you're on the other side you're prideful and and judgmental of other people that's all from the devil we need to get rid of that stuff resist that resist those thoughts if you're having any kind of a symptom in your body if you're having any kind of a of an attack in your mind uh, crazy thoughts and evil thoughts and you know they're evil thoughts you don't have to sit there and wonder about whether uh, something's wrong with you or not <laughs> you're a child of God if you believe in Jesus, that you've accepted him as your Lord and Savior, God says you're righteous and holy and blameless in my sight. And he wants you to just understand and walk by faith in who he says you are. You're already seated with him in heaven as far as he's concerned. Your sins are forgiven. So all those all those thoughts and, and feelings that you have of feeling worthless or feeling like you failed or whatever, you do. You do fail. You you know, as in the natural, we are worthless. That's why Jesus died on the cross. That's why God attributes everything about Jesus to us. So we get credit for everything Jesus did and everything he is and who he is. That's how God sees us. We're, we're children of God. We died in God's mind. We're, we're, Jesus is living his life through us now. So the Lord wants us to recognize that, that whether we're doing something that's, that's wicked or evil or or whether we're being oppressed with with pain or sickness or whatever it is that that uh, or depression or or wicked thoughts that you think you're maybe losing your mind or whatever resist it don't just sit there and say well or, or maybe you're feeling like well you're getting forgetful you know <laughs> you know whatever resist it you have the mind of Christ resist those thoughts that's what the Lord wants us to do is not to just accept it resist it that's why Jesus came, and he's, he's given us his, his authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and overcome all the power of the enemy. 
nothing will by any means harm us. And so uh, any anything that's coming against us like that, uh, then then that's that's of the devil. You can it's not God. God's not going to. Jesus came to deliver everybody that was oppressed by the devil. He was anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, went around healing everybody that was oppressed by the devil. And whatever oppression that was, whether it was some people got so demonized that they were just absolutely under the control of the devil. Jesus came to set those people free, came to set us free. So, but he doesn't want you to get uh, discouraged, doesn't want you to get uh, inward focused, to look at yourself and say, how in the world could that possibly, you know, how could, how could I be saved and think stuff like that? Well, it, the devil, the devil told Jesus. He said, "If you're the Son of God, jump off the top of this mountain. <laughs> God, angels will catch you." You know, he told the devil told Jesus, "If you're the," he said, "Why don't you just fall down and worship me? You don't even have to do all the stuff you're planning on doing because I'll just give you all the kings of the world if you'll just fall down and worship me." The devil is liable to impress you with anything. Resist the devil. Resist the oppression of the devil, whatever form it's coming in, whether it's, whether it's. Uh, overt oppression or whether it's the oppression of of feeling prideful and and feeling like you're really something compared to everybody else that that's oppression that's not who you are that's evil that's demonic that's devilish uh, jealousy and envy and strife and contentions and dissensions and all of those things are 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 of the devil so if you're being oppressed by any of that stuff resist it Resist it. Say, no, I'm not going to think like that. No, you're not going to put those symptoms on me. I command those symptoms. Leave me in the name of Jesus. You can't do that to me. And so God wants us to resist the devil and he will flee. And and to not feel like you're being picked on. Some people have bigger battles than others. Some people have battles going on uh, at one point and another person doesn't have much going on. Well, it may flip around, you know, in the future. So, So no matter what's happening to you, be on the alert. Anything that's not of Jesus is of the devil, and resist it. Don't put up with it. Resist it. Don't 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 just surrender. <laughs> and so, you're you're if you surrender, you're still saved, you know. But the devil just wants to beat you up when he has absolutely no right to beat us up, no right to harm us, no right to attack us and make us act like him. <laughs> he has no right to do all that stuff. Uh, he has no right to put fear and all that stuff on us. He has no right to do it. All we have to do is just say, no, you can't do that. I, I, I resist that. You have to leave me. You can't do that to me. Get out in Jesus' name. So that that's what the Lord wants us to do is to not is to not just accept oppression in whatever form it's coming in, but to resist it because it's not from him. The Lord's not oppressing you. The Lord wants you to rise up and do what he is entitled you to do and given you the authority to use his name when you use the name of jesus it's as if jesus were speaking it himself when you pray in the name of jesus when you tell a demon to leave in the name of jesus it's as if jesus is doing it himself jesus said i'll be right there with you it's as if jesus were doing it himself because he's in you and he's qualified you he's given you these promises he's told you to do it so it's as if jesus were doing it himself so it's easy it's easy uh, to get to slide off and that's just human nature we get we get trapped into stuff um, whether it's positive whether, whether it's whether it's pride or whether it's being oppressed and hurt we get trapped into it and don't get down on yourself and say how did I get how did I get into that how did I do that <laughs> the Lord doesn't want you to look at yourself get your eyes on Jesus forget the past okay forget that you you made a mess back there you surrender to the devil you acted like the devil you let the devil beat you up forget that rise up and say no you are not going to oppress me anymore in the name of jesus get out leave me you're not going to cause me to act like that to feel like that to think like that anymore you get out you leave me in the name of jesus that's what jesus wants us to do that's what he's given you the authority to do in his name he loves you and he wants you to 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 receive and everything that he's qualified you for all the benefits and promises and all the things that he is the, the his authority that he's given you he wants you to to receive it and use it and and to be a blessing not only to yourself you have to start with yourself 
you know, you have to start with yourself. And then he wants you to be a blessing of, to others. Tell others about this. You know, that they don't have to submit to that stuff. They can resist it and say, get out in the name of Jesus. <laughs> well, God bless you and have an awesome day.